Hey y'all, Blind Manager here, and we're back with another episode of Trials of Mana. On the last episode, we made our way through the Lamp Bloom Woods and rescued Dryad from the Grapple Vine. In this episode, we're going to finally head to the Mana Holy Land. But before we do that, let's spend some training points, shall we? Uh, let's see, for Hawkeye... Uh, I think that intellect plus five would actually help. And oh, yeah, I do want that ninja SP boost. We're doing it. And I th think I'll probably just... Well, might as well get the strength plus five, right? Sounds good. All right, now Kevin. Kevin. Um, yeah, I think I definitely want that strength. And I definitely want the spirit. I think I might actually just, um... Actually, that might be a good ability, but I don't have enough points for it. I think I'm just gonna sit on the rest of my points. Yeah, we're just gonna sit on the rest of them. And Angela. This is the one that I need to actually think about. Like, it feels like maxing out intelligence is the easy answer here. We're gonna do that. Put a little bit more into spirit so I can get that MP boost. You know, we're going for this. And I'll sit on the rest. Alright, what do we have? Two MP when an enemy is defeated, or oh, 
Oh, I already have Reclaim. Oh, Reclaim 2. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go with Reclaim 2. Hmm. I think I'll leave it like that for now. Alright. And with that... Wow, that's probably the longest I've spent at the beginning of an episode before moving. I'll take point and leave the rear to you! Don't think so! Gotta make our way through these dangerous Ladibs once again. Probably gonna have to reset my points again after the next class change. But that's alright. Can't go far in this condition. But maybe not. You never know. Feel stronger at least. How do you like me at my best? Watch out for the enemy! Can't run! And of course I gotta heal Hawkeye. Surviving somehow. Got it. Heal you. That'd be nice when I get a second class change and I can get the uh, target all healing ability. Oh well. Now we're out of the difficult part of the land the woods and back into the easy part. Is it over? That's disappointing. Also, I think I figured out where the treasure chest I missed was. Very easy to miss a little alcove here. There was no sneaking past this battle. I think that might be the last one before I'm at the shore. Yeah, here we go. I probably should have made that trip at the end of the last episode, but uh... Oh well. Huh. Hawkeye's the one that pulls it out no matter who uses it.
We made it! Now it's time to open the portal. Thank you for everything. I never could have attempted to open the portal all on my own. Mana has continued to weaken throughout our journey. But I think I can still manage with what remains of my strength. Oh, I'll give it a try. Elementals, lend me your powers! Time to show my stuff. Don't you worry, sister. You got this. You hear? <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I won't hold back. We won't be defeated. Here goes. I give you all of my dark power. Here we go! And now, let us give this everything we have! I apologize that this is all I can do. I only hope that it will help. Aw, oh, come on. You can do this, fairy. Believe in the elementals and your own power. Almost. Almost there. Aw, oh, you were so close. Don't worry. Next time, you'll definitely get it. Try again? <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Mana has grown weaker than I expected. <sighs> The portal won't get any larger. Okay, I'll try one more time. Please, Goddess of Mana, help us! There you go! You did it! <laughs> I always knew you could open the portal, fairy. <sighs> no! That wasn't me! The portal opened on its own! Oh, the mana stones must have been activated! They're giving off too much energy! Oh, it combined with the powers of the other elementals and created that huge portal in the sky. Oh, and it's too high up for us to reach. Uh, no! What do we do?
that the Crimson Wizard from Altena? <laughs> we couldn't activate the Mana Stones with the forbidden magic alone. Thank you so much for releasing enough mana energy. Now Altaina's flying battleship, Gigantress, will begin the invasion of the Sanctuary of Mana. Please accept this gift with our warmest regards. <laughs> Majesty, beastmen subjects, now is the time to invade the Sanctuary of Mana. Once you get the Sword of Mana, the human world will tremble at your feet. You can create a beastman utopia. <laughs> Does that sound equitable, your furry majesty? <laughs> Proceed with your plan. Yes, sire. Now then. Guards! <laughs> We're off to the front line. Malocchio? What is it? They have opened the portal to the sanctuary. Are you prepared? You forget to whom you speak. Of the two of us, you are the one who is late. Now, what news do you have of his Dark Majesty? He used the last of his essence to bring the Darkstone back from Mavolia and into this realm. His Dark Majesty has perished. Then it is proceeding as he planned. I have prepared the vessel that will bring us through the portal and into the Sanctuary of Mana. Let us cast off. Once we have the Mana Sword, we can easily revive his Dark Majesty. With his dark powers, we can transform this realm into Mavolia itself. We cannot fail in this mission, or his Majesty will be lost forever. After them. Portal's too high. Too far to jump. 
How do we get up there? To the sky. Wait! I heard that the goddess of mana's emissary, the winged defender, lives on the tallest peak. He's a spirit that oversees both land and sky! Hmm. Tallest peak. That sounds familiar. Oh, I know! It's gotta be Celestial Peak! And Laurent? Let's check it out! Whew, what a cutscene heavy episode. Gotta say though, digging this remix of the Secret of Mana theme. There is a treasure box here. I don't think that there is a little cactus here. And also, I believe that this island. Well, okay. Make a liar out of me, will you? But I was gonna say, I think this island is one that we can't return to after we uh, leave here, but maybe. Maybe a little cactus being here uh, proves that wrong. As far as I'm aware, um, any place that has a little cactus is an area you can return to. Because I don't believe little ca any little cactus is meant to be permanently missable. There is a treasure box here that I have not found. So I'm going to keep looking around a little bit. I mean, the island's not that large. It's probably on this beach over here. Yep, there it is. So, uh... We need to be able to fly to get up to the portal. So we need to head to Laurent. This is probably going to be the last time we use Vuskov. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed this music and this point of view. I mean, of course, you can still use the fairy flute even after this, but, uh, we're just about to get a mode of transportation that's simply superior. We've had some interesting modes of transport, I must say. Such as, uh... Oh, wow, I've missed a treasure box here somewhere. Huh. Wait, isn't there supposed to be one on the beach here? Oh good, night time. Just what I needed. Let's head to Citadel Laurent and see if they know about Celestial Peak. I'm worried about what those weird guys are going to do to the sanctuary. It'd be great if I could actually hit the broadside of a barn here. 
I'm gonna keep an eye out for that chest. Hopefully. Wait, is that the one that I've already opened? Yeah. Already opened that one, so that is not it. Hopefully this will be the last time that I uh, actually have to climb up this way. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Although, it definitely will not be the last time we are in this area. That's for sure. Take down the enemy. Oh wow, that power attack just straight up killed that knight. I am way stronger than I was last time I was here. Holy cow. Keep my eyes peeled for that treasure box though. These enemies are just like exploding. Okay, there's nothing up there, it seems. I'll take I'm gonna check over here. I don't think the treasure box is gonna be over this way, but maybe I didn't check this area as thoroughly as I could have. Especially like in this flower field here. Not seeing it though. Yeah, there ain't nothing up here. Huh. Ain't nothing in the water there either. Nothing in this area at all. Aha! A warrior scarf. Mm, I feel like that's not as good as what we've got now. Yeah, that might have been useful if I had found it way back when. Eh, oh well. Let's finish climbing this mountain up to Laurent. Well, that fight ended quick. Almost up the mountain. It's a little bit longer a walk up here than I remembered. What a joke. I agree, Angela. What a joke. Watch out for the enemy!
<laughs> I see you are all well. Hmm, you wish to find the winged defender? I understand your predicament. I will unblock the path. However, the winged defender is the protector of the Laurent Mountains. It is said that he only appears for us Amazons. Alrighty, now we can finally get inside this area of Laurent, which is where our other little cactus is. But, um, yeah, in the interest of not having yet another hour-long episode in a row, I am going to end things off here. I did anticipate this being a very cutscene-heavy episode, and I apologize for that. Next time, we'll definitely get through this dungeon and possibly even to the Sword of Mana itself. But thank you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed to me, please consider doing so. Leave me a comment and smash that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.